What's up, Crystalling? Season 6 is finally here, and it starts off with the best Crystal Empire episode yet. Not really saying much there, but trust me, it's a good episode. And both the A plot and the B plot have a lot of great fandom fuel that adds to the series. Also a heads up, this 8 bit of perspective series is less of a review and more of an analyst of the narrative elements. Like the implications brought up by this episode's elephant in the room. Yes, yeah, so we have a new alicorn. What is something Equestria has never seen? Now many are jumping on the low-hanging fruit here and declaring this proof that Celestia and Luna were made alicorns. But it's much more open for interpretation. Both the Journal of the Two Sisters and Hearth's Woman Eve imply Celestia and Luna were both alicorns before being approached for their position and were thereby older than Equestria itself, which would make the no-born alicorn in Equestria statement true while they could have been born well before Equestria. And if Celestia and Luna were the last born alicorns before this, then of course it would still be perplexed about well, born alicorns because, you know, they were infants at the time. But simply, Hasbro wanted the drama of uncertainty for Flurry Heart's plot, but the writers left it open for interpretation and possible exploration. Half of a show writer's job is to leave things open for future episodes. What I found more interesting was how comfortable Luna and Celestia seemed to be about made alicorns. I mean, after all, there's only been two known made alicorns. For this to be the norm, I feel this means there were other made alicorns before Cadence and Twilight. Which is an interesting idea I'm surprised others haven't leapt on. The other interesting part is Sunset Light. I mean, Starlight Glimmer. I'm sorry, but seriously, Starlight seems even more like a copy of Sunset after this episode. The main flavor difference being Starlight seems more manipulative, while Sunset seems more confrontational, and also being Celestia's form of pupil, much more nerdy. That said, Sunset is awesome, so... so is Starlight. Her relationship with Sunburst was also very interesting. Starlight and Sunburst have a great symbiotic relationship on top of their friendship. But simply, Starlight is the power and Sunburst is the brains. I love how this is even foreshadowed in their new flashbacks, with Sunburst always doing the spell correct first, and Starlight then doing it four times bigger. I expect to see more fun interactions with them in the future, and I have to agree with Dr. Wolf. This very well may be the show's attempt to flesh out romance with the main six by creating a new main six for ro romance to be flushed out with. This also brings me to another idea this episode gave me. Many have stated that Starlight will likely make it the main seven now, but I'm starting to wonder if it's more than that. What if Starlight is Twilight's replacement in the not elements of harmony, elements of harmony, whatever they're called now. I mean, it seems she will be learning the exact same lessons as Twilight, so what if she takes up the element of magic? I mean, that sort of seems like the most likely end goal for Starlight's development at this point. I doubt she will be getting the alicorn treatment like Twilight, so what could her big end point be? The element of magic. This would also set up another goal for Twilight as well, becoming more like her mentor and grooming a replacement bearer. I don't know how I feel about this at the moment. I mean, it has a lot of good potential in developing Starlight, but also poses some dangers like further separating Twilight from the rest of the main six. I'm conflicted on this, and currently just sort of a wait and see with it. But yeah, that was MLP Season 6 opener. It gave us our first seemingly universally loved Crystal Empire episode, more alicorn lore, and Starlight development. My only real complaint is how painfully sidelined the rest of the main six were. I mean, even Celestia and Luna actually did more in this episode, they never do anything. But I'm letting this slide for now as it did give us lots of much needed development for Starlight. However, if the rest of the main six get ignored again in the finale, then it will be a problem. A very bad problem. Well, until next time. This is Ninja DC. Keep calm and an open mind. Also, please comment below on your thoughts on my theory of Starlight becoming the element of magic.